Intel is an American company that creates, makes, and sells computer hardware and software. It is a multinational technology company. Since the beginning, Intel has done a lot to build cutting-edge information technology infrastructure, not just for its own services, but for the whole industry as well. Intel now has more than 100 places around the world where it does business. In this video, we will talk about Intel's marketing strategy by looking at its marketing mix, marketing efforts, SWOT analysis, and digital marketing presence. So let's get started by learning a little more about the company. The main office of Intel is in Santa Clara, California. Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore began the business on July 18, 1968. It makes the most microchip chips and microprocessors of any company in the world. The company also makes graphic chips, network interface drivers and integrated circuits, motherboard chipsets, flash memory, embedded processors, and other computer-related parts. Intel's main job is to make systems for computers, networking, data storage, and communication. The name Intel came from the words integrated and electronics. This is a fact about the company that not many people know. At the moment, the company is split into the following parts. The Client Computing Group, CTG. The Data Center Group, DCG. The Internet of Things Group. Non-Volatile Memory Solutions Group, NSG the Programmable Solutions Group, PSG, and all other. Now that we know what the company does and how it got started, let's talk about how it markets itself, starting with the marketing mix. The marketing mix of Intel. The marketing mix is a business's basic structure, which has usually been based on the four Ps, product, price, place, and promotion. The marketing mix is a group of tools that a business uses to reach its marketing goals. This is what Intel's marketing mix looks like. Product strategy at Intel. Intel is the most popular company that makes silicon chips in terms of volume and sales. It sells microprocessors to well-known computer makers like Dell, Apple Incorporated, HP, and Lenovo. The company also makes embedded processors, network interface drivers, flash memory, graphics chips, and chipsets for motherboards. It puts a lot of money into designing new chips, which leads to at least one new chip every year. Intel's ability to create and release new chips has helped it get to the top of the market. Intel is known for its dual core, Core 2 Duo, i3, i5, and i7 CPUs from the first to the seventh generation. So, the Intel marketing mix is made up of all of the company's goods. Intel's pricing strategy. Due to the fact that it is the market leader, Intel's pricing approach is like that of a market leader. AMD, for example, has followed the market. Intel has always told its customers that it makes the best processors in the business, so its prices have never been questioned over the years. It has such a strong hold on the market that it has a 90% market share. Since it gets raw materials in large quantities from its producers, the company's total production costs are lower. This helps the company make a lot of money. Intel's Place Strategy Intel is based in Santa Clara, California, and has offices in 63 countries. The company uses the following places to reach the people it wants to. Intel Shop Information Technology Resellers Authorized Sellers of Goods with Embedded Chips The Intel Shop is the most direct way for the company to sell and ship its products. For example, Intel Shop is a part of the company's main website. There are also Intel stores in important places all over the world. The company also has deals with information technology suppliers, such as stores that sell parts and accessories. For example, computer systems that use Intel microprocessors and boards are sold by authorized sellers of embedded products. The range of places and settings helps the company reach more customers and sell more goods around the world. Through this part of its marketing mix, the business does a good job of using market entry as a strong way to grow. Intel's Promotion Strategy Intel markets its goods to both people who use computers and people who buy them directly. The direct buyers are mostly laptop, desktop, and other computer manufacturers. As part of its marketing plan, Intel uses the following tools. Advertising Public Relations Direct Marketing Advertisements are a costly but effective way for Intel and other companies that use Intel processors and boards to sell more of their own goods and those of other companies.
For example, the company's Intel Inside marketing effort, which started in the 1990s, helped customers become more aware of and loyal to Intel products. The company has also done well with other ads, like the one for the 2017 Super Bowl. Public relations are also an important part of advertising. For example, the business helps pay for things like high school science shows. Sponsorships like these help people know about a brand and stay loyal to it. These campaigns to raise public knowledge are also a part of a bigger effort to show corporate social responsibility. Also, the company sells its goods through direct marketing. For successful deals, the organization talks directly with the makers and sellers of equipment. This part of Intel's marketing mix shows that advertising, PR, and direct marketing all play a big part in helping the company reach its marketing goals. So, each part of Intel's 4Ps approach is summed up in the marketing mix. Let's finally talk about how Intel plans to sell its products. Marketing Strategy of Intel In this part of the video, we'll talk about Intel's marketing strategy by looking at its STP, which stands for Segmentation, Targeting, and Placement. Intel divides its big and varied target audience into specific groups, ranging from groups with different needs to groups with similar needs, in order to understand how customers buy. So, Intel divides its customers into groups based on their age, life stage, gender, income, religion, race, and country, as well as their buying habits, which include their lifestyle, values, attitudes, interests, and so on. Intel uses a technique called undifferentiated targeting to reach these groups because most of its products are standardized and sold everywhere. Intel is trying to reach everyone who wants to buy a new computer. Intel is best known for its processors and chips, so the company places its products and services based on how they are used and what benefits they provide. Their positioning is mostly about how valuable they are as a company. Intel recently changed its stance from being known for high-quality technology products to being a leader in technology breakthroughs. When you look at its history and what it has done for the business, this positioning makes sense. Campaigns are another important part of a company's marketing efforts. Let's look at some of the ads Intel has done. Before diving into Intel's marketing campaigns, let's see if you can answer the following question. What is the main product strategy of Intel? A. Selling microprocessors to well-known computer makers. B. Designing new chips every year. C. Making graphic chips and integrated circuits. D. Focusing on the data center group DCG business. Write your answers in the comments section. Intel's marketing campaigns. Intel has been in the business world for a long time and has run many great marketing campaigns. Not only do these campaigns help sell the company's goods, but they also set the tone for the brand in the minds of consumers. Two of Intel's most memorable marketing efforts are these. Tomorrow's Sponsors One of Intel's most successful marketing efforts was called The Sponsors of Tomorrow. So, what did the group want to get across with this campaign? Since Intel's goods are meant to help its customers in a human way, the commercial shows that it cares about them. This idea is echoed in the campaign, since Intel's advanced technology is meant to shape the present and the future, and the information technology giant is just a supporter. So, it shows that Intel is a support of the future. This was a strategy that spread quickly and helped Intel become a well-known brand. Go do something wonderful. The Go Do Something Wonderful ad is based on a quote from Robert Noyce, one of the people who helped start Intel. Its goal is to get people thinking about what they could do with a PC with Intel inside. The ad is mostly about stories that show what all kinds of technology can do for each person. After learning about the company's many marketing tools and channels, let's look at a SWOT analysis to get a better understanding of its position. SWOT Analysis of Intel SWAT is an acronym for strengths, weaknesses, openings, and threats. The SWAT analysis is a way to figure out how strong a company is and make plans for the future. In a SWAT analysis, external and internal factors, as well as the present and future prospects, are looked at. The SWAT study of Intel is broken down in the table below. Intel strengths Brand value and recognition Technology leader Consistent innovation Global Presence Economies of Scale Long-standing partnership with Microsoft 
Intel's weaknesses. Overproduction. Business diversification is limited. Minor presence in the smartphone industry. Dependence on computers that run Windows. Intel's opportunities. Automatic cars, drones. Business diversification. Product development for the smartphone industry. Intel's threats, competitors, price war. Mobile tech is taking over the business world quickly. Last but not least, we'll talk about Intel's internet marketing presence, which is the most important part. Intel's digital marketing presence. Today, it's very important for any company, but especially for a consumer-focused, technologically advanced business like Intel to have a strong online presence. So, in this part of the video, we look at Intel's presence on some of its most important and busy social media sites. Intel has 1.6 million Instagram followers, 4.8 million Twitter users, and 37 million Facebook likes. They post often on these social media sites and are very busy on them. Most of the time, their posts have a lot of pictures and information about new goods and services, explaining their services and any new additions, benefits, etc. The company is also involved in and aware of social problems. For example, they celebrated Women's History Month by showing how their female employees were making history in the field. They also often show successful people who swear by their products and use them every day on their pages. These people talk about their stories and experiences with the goods. The company also does festive marketing by wishing their customers on holidays like Valentine's Day, New Year's, Christmas, and so on. Lastly, their material is interesting and makes people want to interact with it. They send their fans random quizzes and questions, which gets them to comment and share. 